right, welcome back to Piggy's Picks. We are at Collector Zone in St. Joseph, Michigan, and today we are going to be checking out some of the pure arts statues. So we are in the pure arts section of a huge statue location. Sorry if the volume is a little off. We are having some equipment issues and there are a lot of people here. But I'm going to talk loud and um, we're going to walk through this section and we have a special guest today. You know him from the statue community, our guy Ledge. And Ledge is going to help walk us through this pure art section. Without further ado, Ledge is going to take it away. What's up, Ledge? Hey guys, how's it going? Us. All right. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. We got a lot of nice statues here. Absolutely. Ones Let's jump I, in. I really was into because I like the video ga games when I was, you know, playing all of them. And I still do. This is a Dark Souls three piece. And this is Pontus Sullivan. And this is actually a boss that you fight in the game. So. Look at the detail. This is actually he has a phase one, then phase two. He turns into this as you're fighting him. Imagine having to fight something like this. Even if you're from the hood. Yeah, you wake up and you see this dude at your door. Even the... Wow. Wow, look at the colors in it. Epic. All you gamers out there, show you love. Pure Arts, they're giving you the characters that you want to see. Gamers are a big part of the community. Myself, I'm a Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Tekken type of guy. But hey, it takes all kinds and we want all manner of representation. What's next? We got a cool penguin piece. This is a 1 1 scale. Danny DeVito. This is a, more of a movie. Yep. Danny this DeVito. Is cool. Batman, Batman Returns. Returns. Is right here. Yep. Number 44 of 400. So 400 are made of this. Look at that hair. And those teeth are so gritty. <laughs> Rooted hair or real hair. Oh, and it, it, it's silicone. Silicone. It's holding up well because it's a little hot up here today. Well, of course, we're in an air conditioned climate. Thank you, Collector Zone, for the comfort. Yeah. yeah, this is dope. If you're a Batman fan, especially a Batman Returns fan, and you like Penguin or you're a Danny DeVito fan, this is it. We got other people from the community popping in. Here's Al. Shout out, Piggy. Much appreciation. Insanely good content creator right here. Make sure to subscribe and like this this uh, live stream and all his other uh, upcoming uploads for StatueCon 2024. Much appreciation. And Al, where can we find you? Because you, you've rebranded from the Top Gun Collector. Oh, yeah. You can find me at Multiverse Digest. So just Multiverse Digest. Multiverse Digest. Just take you on a ride. <laughs> yeah, there. Check them out. Yeah. Check them out. Feel free to join us. We are just walking hey, through the this, pure art. This is an amazing piece. Let's, yeah, you could get it from the back, but start from the front. Pause. It has some amazing details in the back. This is an Assassin's Creed piece. Assassin's Creed. Yeah. So and Pure Arts giving Animus us. Animus Ezio? I have no idea. Don't kill us for any but, mispronunciations. Uh, yes. Exactly. This is dope. Like, th this base, this whole, like, background, this is straight up art. I'm this trying is to get in. Yeah, this, this is a portrait. Straight up art piece. This, and this is what I really like. I like, like a nice piece with a beautiful base that really incorporates into the piece, you know? Not just served on a platter. And these stands are very nice by Pure Arts as well, I might add. These you get a Pure Arts piece, pick up a Pure Arts stand. Look at this. Look at this. This is art Very by itself, in man. The, in the back. Like, even if you're in the crystals, like, you know what I mean? Look at that. This is dope, man. This is dope. I like this. You ever see a piece where you like the base equal with the statue? Maybe a little more? <laughs> That's what I search for in pieces. Jerry has this piece. Wow. Our boy Jerry. Congrats Jerry on picking this piece up because this is an amazing piece. I gotta give him this prop. This is another game piece that I used to love to play. This is a Resident Evil place. Or, or game. Piece. I should say. Resident Evil piece. And this is Jill Valentine shooting one of the zombies. She blasts him right in the head. And the gun is in mid cockback as the bullet. That's what happens when the bullet. As soon as the bullet's fired, this gun is going to cock back like that. That's why it's cocked back. A bullet was fired. The Smith and Wesson Boom, style. Yep. And it hits him right in the head. 
this is a knocking the hat off. Piece. You see the blood in the hat. This is very detailed. Very detailed. I'm gonna get a little shot of that blood going into the hat. More zombies at the bottom. Bloody knees. Police tape. Nice little outfit they have on her. She's got a nice expression on here. Zoom into this expression. Look at the level of detail you get with these statues. Wow. All right. We do have another Resident Evil piece. Let's I go. mean, if we want to keep it in the family, let's go. This is more like a one-one piece. Look at this, um, man. This is pretty nice. I mean, I'll just you know just for you know scale purposes. Uh, He's a 1-1 one -one scale, so he's pretty big. You can't say the dude doesn't have a brain. Yeah, man. Yeah, this is different. Pretty heavy piece. Pretty heavy piece. You want to go that way or come this way? Or whatever you want. Let's go. This has got some nice ones. This has got the Terminator, a piece that I actually almost got. This is the Battle Edition. Nicely detailed. And this can be wall mounted. So you wall mount this side, and then you can turn the face so it's flat. So it's, you know, pointing the right way towards you. And take it, it from this guy. Swivel. He has an amazing collection. He's got some outstanding pieces. So if he was going to pick it up, you might want to pick it up. Hell yeah. Look at this. Another 1-1 one -one scale piece. Lord of the Rings of the, fans. Yeah. yeah. We got a lot of Lord of the Rings fans. Teeth are really grimy. Definitely looks cool. That is amazing. All right, so I like this piece. Yeah, this is something I'm not familiar with. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some study it on it. Reminds me of a, an old video game or something. We're gonna be wrapping up in a minute because our guy Ledge is being summoned, so we might kinda, okay. So as we come over here, uh, this is a gaming piece. This is uh, Ghost Recon, I believe. Amazing nice artwork. Piece. This is Look at really the flames nice coming out the base. Another Assassin's Creed. Or, yeah, see? Assassin's Creed right here. Number 639, 1250 made of this particular one. Look at the, the level of detail, the intricacies on the base. Look at that, man. Look at that. I almost kind of low-key want this piece. But I don't know enough about Assassin's Creed. I'm not a bandwagon dude, so I have to play the game, study it, and know what I'm getting before I go down the line. Yeah. But you can't beat some of these nice pieces, though, man. Too. It, does, uh, it does have a nice feel. So, so dope. Right, we're going to jump back over to the last couple of busts. Oh, yeah, this is the Watch Dogs. This is the, the, Watchdog. this is the game, a game I used to have, actually, and play. Um, I couldn't think of the name, but yes, this the, is Watch Dogs 2, like, evidently. The artwork I, know, I played the piece. original, I'm, I know that. I gotta look it up, man. I'm not sure if I even played 2. I'm doing some I, graffiti artwork at the house, and I think that will blend in nicely with it. Another Terminator right here. 1,000. All, all you T2 fans, I remember seeing this in the movie theater. What's funny, us, we're in St. Joseph, Michigan right now. I saw this in the movie theater in Grand Rapids, Michigan with uh, my cousins that stayed one town over. Maybe a good, Very nice. good 20, 30 minutes to get to Grand Rapids from here. I like these effects. Dope, love it, love it. You can't go wrong. And it's a nice size, it looks pretty big. You know, one one, the eye. Looks really well done. I mean, this looks like a real eye, so it's great that they use something that's quality eye. I mean, just look at that eye, it looks real. Look at that. That's on par with no disrespect to like Sammy Davis Jr.'s glass eye. Shout out to him. Again, no disrespect, but that is an amazing eye. We have Shane the Dark Lord from the COC over here wreaking havoc as always. He has been the troublemaker of I the I have convention. not. Slander. Total trouble. That, that is a confession. This guy, let me, let me tell your guy, your viewer something. He made me go home with rage the Rage issues. Yeah. He's a rage off. He smiles. It's one of those, I'm going to fucking lose it smiles. He's and we're going to interrupt this broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got... 
another cool Johnny Silverhand. A lot of fans of this IP here, Pure Arts, once again, just giving you the characters that you want. Reminds me of the Keanu. Let's see. Hmm. I'm not, I'm not too hip on this one. I don't know this. I'm not familiar with this. I'm not too um, up to par on the knowledge of this piece. Samurai in New Orleans. Maybe it looks like a movie, uh, like a movie <laughs> display. That arm is dope. I love that arm. That bionic, uh, cybertronic. Water scale. Yep. Kind of taking everybody cool down coffee, the path uh, of and the soda. transhumanism, oh. robotics. Yep. Looks cool. Very, very dope. And I guess it, it lights up or it does something because there's room for a battery, a battery pack supply in the back. Yeah, let's see. It does. So oh, light on, light off. I'm not going to touch it. Well, maybe. Yeah, I'm going to stop touching things. These and aren't secure, just so you know. They, um, yeah, that's what I, I immediately yeah. stopped. <laughs> but the, there's a, the, the bottle of alcohol. It looks beautiful. This is a very nice piece. Gladiator. They have a switch out. Uh, and a very nice portrait, too. And look at the base detail. Here, let me move this. Very nice base oh, yeah. detail in there. This is dope. I love a storytelling base. This looks beautiful. It really does. That's a nice portrait that they have, very detailed. Looks like, like 2000 is made of this. Look at very this. Nice. This is very, Cassandra. Very cool. This could be a centerpiece. Even if like you don't collect whole lines, this is a piece that you can get and put if you have like a Roman theme, any type yes. of gladiator type of decor. Period pieces. That's the beauty with statues. You don't need to get a whole bunch of them. You know, if you just like one particular thing, or you know, you don't have to be crazy and go overboard like some people, like myself. <laughs> uh, you can myself just get included. really, you know, have a nice yeah. display, that something like this, and boom, you're yep. done. That's you the got collection. Your favorite character, and you're good. Yep. And then, last but not least, the king of pop. Michael Jackson needs no introduction. Smooth criminal. Look at that. It's like you're transported into the video. He's got his microphone stand. This is number 427 of 1600. And this is cool because the microphone criminal. is not holding him up. So it's not even touching him. Dope. It's, he's, he is completely holding that pose. Even down to the shoes. This is like straight out the video. Colors vibrant and popping. Let's get in and see this portrait. I think it's him. Well, it's what he became. Yep, yep, yep. This is straight up. up at all. It's definitely good representation, I'd say. Yeah, and this is mixed media. You can feel the fabric. This is dope. You gotta pick it up. So we're definitely gonna say shout out to Pure Arts. Thank you for representing that collector zone. Catch me on Piggy's Picks. Thank you so much to our guy Ledge, our guy Al for dropping in, our guy Shane. Catch y'all later.